lovelies welcome back to my channel today this is same right by p today we are going to pad our 12 pieces princess at this first the first panel you can see we have a f1 f2 f3 that's we have three pieces on one part and these three pieces we are going to double it for the front and be, we'll be having six pieces so i'm going to concentrate today on how we are going to pad successfully these 12 pieces so to begin the very first thing we are going to do is to place our fabric below the pattern and then add our seam allowances uh, i added 0 0.5 seam allowances all through this pattern but because i have my seam allowance by the side already i did not add for this one so i added my seam allowances of 0 0.5 inches all around but for the center front i'm going to have a zipper here I did not add any allowance. So for the padding of these uh, 12 pieces blouse bustier, we are going to use this fusible fleece. If you look at it very well, you can see this fusible fleece you are seeing have two, it has two faces. One side is not shining and the other one is shining. So this is the area that will stick perfectly to your fabric when you are padding. Some people call it wadding. You know, wadding is a general... Uh, wadding is the general term that is being used by most Nigerians. So we are going to place the shining part of this wadding on top of our fabric. Then when we iron, it will stick very perfectly to it. But before we do that, if you look at this panel, we have three panels. We are not going to pad it separately. First of all, I'm going to join, after adding my seam allowances, I'm going to join F2 and F3 together, then F1 separately, then we'll pad. So I've already joined F1 and F2 with my seam allowances sorry i came with the other part okay so you can see this is the f1 and uh, the f2 and this is the f3 with the seam allowances that i have already used in joining them so you can see is now in one piece why the f1 still remains as you can see okay with the seam allowances there so we are going to remove the pattern then and work on f1 and f2 join together let me get the other piece all right people you can see that this is f3 here and this is f2 after adding my seam allowances i i added i seamed the two the stitches together and it's, not, it's F and 2 and F and 3 is now one piece, as you can see. While I still have my center front piece with the seam allowances to it, as you can see. So this is one part of the three pieces for the front. I also did the same for the left hand side. And this is one part. So we have two, three separate pieces, left and right. Now I'm going to have my zipper here. So because I'm having my zipper here, we are going to pad this separately. So I'm going to start from the right hand side of these um, six, 12 pieces blouse. Then whatever thing I do here, I'm going to make a duplicate of it on the left hand side. So before we take off our patterns, we are going to ensure that these notches for the bust point and under bust and waist are transferred to the fabric. So you can see I have my notch here already for the 
you can see I notched for my bust points. I also notched for my under bust. And on the waist, I also have a, a notch for it. And I repeated the same thing on the other side of it. This is my bust point notch. This is my under bust notch and my waist notch. Okay, so we'll take off our pattern. Then we are going to make use of these notches. After padding our blouse, these notches, we are going to put them together at the same point. So that we'll get a perfect bust here. But for the padding of these 12 pieces, the very first thing we want to take to heart is that our bust to bust measurement, that is nipple to nipple measurement for this drafting is 8 inches. And this 8 inches, uh, I will drop the de description of how this pattern is made on the description box below. So you, if you look at this, you can see we have a notch of the bust point this way. So this padding is going to cover 8 inches divided by 2. We have 4 inches. But remember we added half an inch for our seaming. So we are going to take 4.5. That is when we place our padding. We are going to take 4.5 towards this direction. And on the same point of this notch, which is our bust point, we are also going to go up by 4.5. So we have 4.5 moving all around to the point of the under bust. The same thing also applies to the notch of the bust point on this side. We are also going to take 4.5. You can see how I'm moving 4.5. That is the area our bust is going to sit after padding. So let's get started. So the very first thing I'm going to do is to turn my fabric upside down, as you can see. And I estate my fabric with ST, okay, to give it more volume. So on these notches, first of all, on the center side front notch, I want to use a marker to make it visible for you to see. You can see I've made it visible. I believe you can see it. This, then I'll also, this is my bust point for the side pattern. I'm also making a mark for it to be visible. Why am I making this mark? mark? Because I need to align this fabric. I need to align this outfit to match up with the position where the waist is, the under bust and the bust point. So I'm going to place it in this manner. Okay, so you ensure that this one, this notch and this notch are together and the under bust point falls at the same place. So remember I told you that my the bust span for this pattern is 8 inches divided by 2 we have 4 inches. So at the point of this um, 4 inches bust point that is the area the bust will pass through. So at this point I'm going to measure 4 inches but because I added 0 0.5 for stitching I'm going to make it 4 and a half inches. Then coming up to this side, I'm going to take four and a half inches also. And I'll take from that point up, I have four and a half inches also. Okay, because of the stitching I have here, I'm going to take 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So that is why on this side, I have four and a half inches. And this way, I also have four and a half inches. But coming up, I'm not stitching anything up. So I'm taking the bust span divided by two directly, which is four inches. Then I also come down to the point of the bust point. You can see on that bust point, I have three inches. So these three inches I have here now, I'm going to add it to the four inches I've already measured there. So this 4 plus 3, I have 7 inches as a whole. So the width of my fusible fleece, that is the wadding, is going to be 4 plus 3, that is 7 inches. Then coming to the, the length of it, 
I'm going to take the measurement of this four and a half plus four and a half. That is nine inches. So for my wording, I'm going to cut nine by seven inches. So I'm going to place my wording and measure nine and a half inches. With the measurement I have here, as I made my mark, I have nine inches and I have seven inches. So I use this measurement seven inches by five inches to cut my fusible fleece. That is my wording. So you can see I have nine inches here and also I have seven inches. So I'm going to place this wording on top of this garment. But I'm going to use the stickable part of it, the gummy part of it. That's the shiny part of it. You can see, I don't know if you are seeing it well, but it's shiny. You can see it's shiny and glittering. Then this other side is not shining at all. So I'm going to place the shiny part on top of this garment. And I'm placing it in the form of the square, following the under bust mark. Then I'll end it to the mark I have here. You can see it's stopping at the mark here and it's also stopping at this mark. So I'm going to locate the center. This is nine inches. I'm locating the center of this nine inches. And nine divided by two, I have the center here as four and a half. Then I'm also going to locate three inches. Remember from the bust point we measured earlier three inches. And from these three inches of the bust point, then we go up by four inches. So I'm going to rotate my three inches. I'm going to rotate. This is three inches. As I'm coming up, I'll be marking four inches because that is the area where my bust will cover. I'm marking four and a half inches. Remember, I'm going to stitch along that line. I'm marking four, four and a half inches because of the 0 0.5 stitch. I'm marking four and a half inches. I'm taking it up here to four and a half inches. Then coming over here, I already have my four inches. And I'm coming four and a half inches. So I'm done taking from the bust point four and a half inches, four and a half inches, four and a half inches. Coming up, I retain my four inches, going down three inches, four and a half inches because of the stitching line, four and a half inches, four and a half inches all the way. So I now have a circle where my bust will enter. So I'm going to quickly cut off this circle. Let me do that. Now, people, you can see I've cut that circle round so this is actually where my boss is going to sit into this outfit after i finish making it so i'm going to double this i'm going to make another copy of this for the other side of this outfit and now i'm going to take it exactly how it is after cutting it i'm going to fasten it with a pin so as not to move from this particular position then i'll take it to the ironing table gently remove the pins and i'll press or iron it firmly so let me double it then and press i will show you i'll be back all right people we are now on our ironing table now so you can see i've placed my fusible so now i'm going to iron this as you can see this is how i'm ironing i'm iron but you have to be careful so that you don't allow it stick to your iron you are going to use a hot iron to to ensure it sticks to the fabric so you can see i'm not ironing like this i'm you know see how i'm doing it okay so sometimes you notice that because of uh, some manufacturers um, mistakes or what some of this fusible interfacing does not stick firmly to the fabric so what i usually do is i take a fusible interfacing that is st i'll place it on top of my wording 
this way I ensure that it covers this area firmly you can see how I'm covering it that is to make sure that the wording is fixed firmly so with my hot iron not too hot but at least well regulated you can see how I'm sticking it so that it won't fall out that's how I do it so to ensure that it's fixed firmly on this outfit you place the interfacing that is the ST the one we call ST then with your hot iron you can see so lovelies we are back to the work table I'm done ironing my feasible fleece on my outfit now you can see how where the bust is going to enter okay after making this outfit is going to fit into this shape so I'm going to turn this outfit to cut off the unnecessary part we do not need so you can see how I'm turning it as I've turned it you can see that we need to separate the first and the second part so you can see the feasible the wording and the estate that i used in padding it so we are going to cut it off following this direction then separate this part then go to our machine and stitch it together to form our suitable cup size so i'm going to trim off my wording my ST that I used in padding as you can see just so you can see I'm directly at the bust point now where my notch I have my notch and gently I'll lift up my scissors I'll also continue from that bust point I'm coming down to the under bust so that's where I'm supposed to stop at the underboss but because i i use the the estate to hold it in place so i'm going to cut off the estate as you can see me doing i'm going to detach the estate so as to go off the garment okay then coming to this center front i'll also trim off following the line as you can see because i don't need this part at all i've taken the part i need for the padding so you can see i'm done separating the st okay so lovelies you can see I'm done padding it now and I've separated the two pieces. So I'm going to make a mark. You, you know I have a notch here which is at my bust point. So I will use my marker to make it visible too. Because I'm going to the machine to join these two pieces together. So I need these visible notches to enable me to have a successful bust tier. So as I have these notches, I'm going to match, I'll go to my machine with my pin. So I'm going to bring these two together at the bust point where I made my notch. Then I'm going to fasten it with my pin. You can see. Now you, you can see I've already matched my bust point for the two pieces. And I will gently take it to the under bust. You can see the notches are already matching for the under bust. And I'll use my pin and fasten it also. I'll gently take it down to the waistline. As you can see, the waistline is already matching up. Then I'll fasten it with my pin. Then I'll come back to the hem. And I'll fasten it with my pin. Then I'll come gently match the curve. You see how I'm matching it? You see what I'm doing? I'll use my pin and I'll fasten it. 
I'll come up gently taking it around the cup around the center front with my pin I'm going to match it I'll also do that all through so you can notice that we have a slight excess here okay do not worry because of this excess once you stitch we are going to start our stitching from the hem so you are going to take 0 0.5 inches you take it all through following exactly the 0 0.5 inches coming to the bust point you take 0 0.5 inches you run your thread to where this terminates wherever it terminates you stop and as you stop you turn you flip your your outfit this way you can see with the pin i already have my cup you can see that's where the the bust is going to enter i just pinned it i've not sewed it but you see the bust is already forming so on this part you can see you have slight uh, over one uh, a part we have a slight excess here it does not matter at all so after stitching it in place then you go to your machine and iron open up and make sure the cup is well fitted then you can trim off this slight excess it's just very little you can see it just very small you can just trim it out okay. so people you can see that the cup is already forming you can see the cup already forming so i'll take this to the sewing machine and i'm going to stitch 0 0.5 inches taking it down to the hem okay so i will do the same thing i did here i'll do it to the other side of the cup so that is how you get a perfect bust here fitted firmly to the bust so if you find this video helpful if this content is helpful to you please subscribe if you are new to this channel consider subscribing Turn on your notification bell, share this video to friends and family so that you receive other videos from time to time. And I want to let you know that we are having an online WhatsApp class very soon. It's coming up in a month's time. So the online WhatsApp class, I'll be dropping my contact on the description box below. And then for those who are in advanced classes, we offer advanced class training. We also offer beginner's training. So whichever way you fall, just contact me on, on the WhatsApp. I'll be drop, drop, dropping my contact there so that by one month's time, I'm going to give you people the schedule for our online class. Thank you very much for watching.